Whether you're looking for a more eco-friendly solution or you're just trying to save money on film development in the first place, I know in my situation, I was just looking for an easy solution to develop my negatives on the go. Hi guys, I'm Erin and thanks so much for joining me today on my photography channel where I'm doing all kinds of creative and fun photography experiments. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own Cafnol C developer with three simple household ingredients. Instant coffee, washing soda, or in this case baking soda, and vitamin C powder or tablets that you can crush up. Additionally, you will need rapid fixer. Of course, I did look into making my own fixer, which is possible if you mix enough salt and water together, but since my time was limited, I ended up buying fixer. Dish soap. This will serve as your wetting agent and help you remove hard water stains. Some liquid measuring cups, a thermometer, a tank and reel for developing, and of course, don't forget a roll of black and white exposed film. The developer we're gonna make today is a pretty universal developer. However, if you want a specific recipe that it works for your film type, you can also check out cafnol.org. I've left a link in the description for you guys. They have a really great resource with all kinds of information regarding different film types, development times, everything you need to know for developing your film with Capital C. By the way, if you don't have washing soda, here's a really easy way to convert baking soda into washing soda. All you have to do is put the baking soda on a baking sheet or in a pan, cover it with aluminum foil, and then bake it in the oven for about an hour, stirring it at least once after about 30 minutes. And while we're waiting for the washing soda, we might as well go ahead and crush up our vitamin C tablets. Ideally, you'll want your developer to be around 68 degrees, which is a bit challenging since the ingredients won't dissolve very well at that temperature. Instead, grab your liquid measuring cup and fill it up to about 150 milliliters with warm water. Then add one teaspoon of crushed vitamin C powder and four teaspoons of homemade washing soda. Before you finish creating your developer, you'll want to make sure that you already have your film loaded on your reel and secure in the tank. Make sure you do this in complete darkness, and if you have any questions about how you should do this, you can check out some of my other videos for the full tutorial. Once your film is ready to go, go ahead and add six heaping teaspoons of instant coffee to your vitamin C and washing soda solution. Stir this until everything is dissolved. You want to make sure that you do this as close to development as possible because the longer it sits around, the weaker the solution will become. Go ahead and add the rest of the water to the other solution. One last tip before you begin is that you can use a cotton pad or coffee filter to drain the solution so that you can eliminate any undissolved particles and keep them from scratching or sticking to the emulsion during the development process. And you'll have to let your developer sit for about five minutes before you start. And now we're ready to develop. When it comes to the processing time, I usually refer to digitaltruth.com or I use their massive development chart app, which I really, really like, both of which I have left a link for you in the description below. I don't use stop bath really, so instead I just go ahead and use water to stop the development process. And then later I add the fixer and fix the film as well. Now with Cafnol C, you should wash the film a little bit longer than you would usually. I read it's better to leave it in the water for about 20 to 30 minutes instead of like 10 to 15. And once I'm completely done, I just add a couple of drops of dish soap to the water, swish it around for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then take it out using my two fingers to clear the water off of it. And I go ahead and hang it up, usually in the bathroom to dry. And that's it, congratulations. Now let's take a look at some of these results and tell me what you think. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me. 